Okay, we're just going to uh, mitre these two joints. This is on a Caterpillar skid steer front window, and um, we're just going to run a seal in between these two gaps. It's about a 10 mil seal. Just going to use a structural silicone. This is pretty durable for out outdoor use. It's going to add to the strength. These two windows have just been glazed by myself. I've just cut them and glazed them. They're both badged. They both have the uh, standards mark on there. This one was already in. This is also a, it's a genuine windscreen and it is badged as well. So I'm not going to show you the installation as such. I might do that on another day. This is more about just uh, showing you how to mitre these joints. So um, all the tools that you're going to need is obviously your sealer, plastic scraper and, uh, and two hands. And um, they're going to be the best tools that we're going to be using today, those two hands. So straight away. So we want to pump the sealer, not just through the crack, but just sort of on the outside, moving it across, because we want it on the glass as well. When we've masking taped this glass up, we've left a gap either side of about six or seven mil, and that's so it gives the adhesive here, the, um, the silicone, something to grab onto. You just pump it through the middle of the hole. Um, it won't have anything to grab onto either side and it will just fall out over time or somebody can poke it out so you just want to pump it onto the glass either side there's going to be a lot of excess on this as well, there's going to be a lot of waste but that's just the way it's got to be if you're going to do it properly Okay, so the first pass we're going to do with the scraper, just nice and lightly, just to make sure it all goes through to the other side and it smears all on both sides of the glass here. Just a light, very lightly scrape it. Take the excess off. Now this time we'll go a little bit harder. What this does is it just sort of pushes it through slowly and eliminates air bubbles. You don't want to have any air gaps inside the joint. So onto the other side and you'll see that it's come through the other side. What I do here is I use my finger to push it back through. It's probably the best tool you can use. try and smear it so it goes on both sides of the glass again so we're just sort of smearing that up beautiful really your fingers are the best tools you can use here because you get a really good feel and a really good smooth joint as well especially on the inside here now you'll find it has come through on the outside again. So I'll give it another scrape on the outside, get rid of some more excess. Check the inside again. Another quick smooth. And then finally on the outside with your finger as well. Just to really sort of smooth it off to the glass. Peel it off and peeling it away so you don't tear up uh, the silicone otherwise you'll leave a trail behind this behind the silicone as you're tearing it up tearing the tape off rather same with this side as well it didn't work Let's start from the bottom see if we can recover it
go. Same on the inside. You want to make sure this tape is on before you put the glass in as well, or if you can help it anyway. It makes it a lot easier to mask it up if the glass is out. So there's one joint, I don't know if you can see that, but that's uh, it's a pretty good joint now. And we've got about 7 mil of sealer on either side of the glass and about a 10 mil joint. That's going to really give it a good uh, solid structural seal. And I recommend clear silicone. Some guys use adhesive like Secoflex or any urethane adhesive, which I don't recommend because it leaves a black line. It's only a cosmetic thing, but uh, if you're a driver of one of these things, you don't want to be looking at a dirty big black line in front of your face all day when you're driving this machine around so clear is uh, is is definitely preferred all right same deal on the other side so we've got seven mil of glass either side inside of the tape we want to make sure that we get that sealer on that as well so you don't want to just go straight down like that. It's not how you want to do it. You want to just sort of work it on the other side. like before the first pass is nice and light just allows the adhesive to be pushed through with minimum air bubbles a little bit harder each time just taking a little bit off of sealer each time you don't want to do it in one pass to stick nice and solid to the glass okay now on the inside with my finger the reason why I do the inside with my finger is because it's like a V shape on this it's like sort of angled on the inside and there really isn't any great tools that I've come across that do a better job than my finger so um, hence that's why I use my finger and it gives you a good feel as well for what's nice and smooth and now on the outside my finger again come through again there's a little bit of excess there enough that we wipe it off I think again on the outside just to make that nice and smooth again okay let's get it off again peeling away from the adhesive so you don't make a big trail behind you and there you go job done give you a closer look at that that joint really nice same there two really good finished joints there that'll last a while.